Here is uh, <clears throat> one of my favorite books, The Last Days of Shishmaref by Dana Lixenberg. Dana is actually Dutch, so I'm sure she doesn't pronounce her name that way. Um, Lixenberg, maybe? Who knows? Um, it's about a little town in Alaska that's uh, slowly being washed away into the sea as part of global warming. Now, if you live in a place where people don't believe in global warming, then uh, there's no explanation why this all is happening. But for the rest of us in the reality-based community, we all know uh, what's going on. Um, so Dana went with a filmmaker, I believe, who went there take, uh, to produce a movie. And <clears throat> Dana made this book, which I bought at Dashwood. And it's... Uh, a very very good book which I I think should get a little bit more attention than it originally did so it features Dana's photography of course it is a photo book after all so I'm gonna try to go through this a little faster than usual because there are a lot of pages I might not actually I actually might not be able to get through the whole book but you will get an idea of of the book. So these are all people living in in that remote part of the world. Unicorn. Any book with a photograph that includes a unicorn always uh, is very much appreciated in this household. So <clears throat> it's 2 a.m. It's in the north, of course. The sun never sets. In the winter, the sun never rises. Three AM and then there are different parts in this book that look a little different, printed on different paper. It's not just the color, the paper itself is a little different and it gives you a lot of information about what's actually going on. You're getting a map here, this is Alaska, um with you know the area, this is where this is, Sheshmaref. I think Anchorage is down there. So this gives you some background, what's going on. And then you go back to pictures. If you're a little familiar with Dutch photo books, not that I want to uh, make mass generalizations about Dutch photo books, but a lot of Dutch photo books do indeed use the setup of uh, different styles of uh, paper, different colors, even of pages, to set things apart, to break up a, an otherwise monotonous rhythm, to break up the idea that a photo book should be an essay in the beginning and then a bunch of pictures and then the thank you at the end. This makes for a, a very different experience. I think it's very effectively used in this book. There's Midnight. My only complaint about this book is that I actually think, for once, it doesn't happen that often, but for once I think that this book could have been a little bit bigger. You see, that's my hand, so it's a smallish book. I wish some of these photographs were a little bit bigger so I could, I could see them better. Again, as always, watch this in HD so you can read the captions. This one says the cemetery. And 
now if we go again into a different section, different paper, different color, giving background. It's one of those photo books where you really have to spend a little bit more time, especially because you want to read the text and find out more about these people, who they are, what the problems are in this town. But you, I think you probably by now see a pattern established in, in these, especially the last image before one of these uh, info information uh, sections. And it keeps going. As I said, I'm not going to be able to show you the whole book, especially not at this pace. Um, I do think the book is still available. It's uh, a recent release. I bought this, I want to say, maybe two years ago, one and a half years ago. Um, I reviewed it on my blog so you can find some information there probably a link where you can get it This, of course, is a different kind of caribou hunting than, you know, the one that <coughs> a certain politician who likes to strike a, a pose is engaged in. There's no need to, to even talk about that, I suppose. All right. So there are more sections. I'm just going to skip over them, I think. See, there's yet another one. Um, so just to show you the end, I wanted to look up there's the acknowledgments. When was this book published? There we go, the colophon designed by Mavis and Van Dersen, a famous, oh, I should say, well-known design team in Holland and where's the date? I can't find it right now maybe you can spot it um, but you can look at all these different places here uh, and there's a website the last days of shishmaref.net where you can go it's a wonderful little book